Hi, I'm David Dodge. Welcome to Green Energy Futures. Solar grew by a record 126 gigawatts in 2020, and renewable energy comprised 82% of the net capacity increase in electricity generation globally. As hundreds of millions of solar modules are added to the grid each year, the question of solar recycling is becoming more important than ever. Hello, I'm Jeanette Freeman, and I work with Fabtech, and Fabtech works with solar panel end-of-life solutions by offering recycling and refurbishing solutions. Jeanette Freeman works for Fabtech in Phoenix, Arizona, an electronics recycling company that saw the demand and need for solar recycling coming. Solar is growing, and um, it's said that we will add as much as 500 to 600 gigawatts more by 2030. So understand, we have 100 gigawatts now, and we're going to add in the next eight, nine years, 500 to 600 gigawatts. That is to be on track with uh, President Biden's goal for carbon-free power sector by 2035. It got started in refurbishing just a very few years ago. I think we had two employees (laughs) at the time and maybe 10,000 square foot warehouse. And today we have 75 employees and we have over 200,000 square feet of warehousing. We have warehousing and facilities in Arizona and then also on the East Coast in Georgia. Fabtech decided to focus on reuse. The most important R in the three R's of recycling. When a call comes in, Fabtech evaluates the used solar modules and separates the broken ones from the ones that can be refurbished. So we sort. So broken glass panels go to recycling. If it's another obvious defect like complete uh, burning or lifting of a, a laminate or burning of the cells where we can look and go, no, that's got to be recycled, then that goes to recycle. Then they go through our regular, our regular renovation system, which is, is our specially invented car wash for solar panels. <laughs> we don't even resell them unless it's not at 80% capacity. And then they get um, put into inventory and into the computer and then to the salespeople and the other divisions so that those solar panels can then be sold. Freeman says they found a whole new solar market for refurbished solar modules. The do-it-yourselfer, off-gridders, RV owners, and farmers are scooping up the refurbished solar modules. It's kind of exciting when someone could spend, let's say, $5,000 to uh, fit their house on solar panels that they couldn't have done it before with, you know, a big company coming in and wanting to sell panels for $30,000. Fabtech makes money selling refurbished solar modules, and it helps pay the $15 to $17 cost to recycle the broken ones. About half the solar modules that come in can be reused. There's roughly over 600,000 modules that we have been able to reuse in the last three years. And 7.5 million pounds that we've been able to recycle. And it's projected that by 2050 there'll be around 80 million metric tons of solar panels throughout the world, that is, that have reached their end of life. So that's a huge amount of waste. Freeman foresees a very bright future for the solar reuse market. Next time on Green Energy Futures, we'll meet up with Cascade Eco Minerals, a company in Portland, Oregon, that recycles the solar modules that can't be reused. Learn more at greenenergyfutures.ca. For Green Energy Futures, I'm David Dodge.